No AIs were harmed or injured in the making of this video. What you'll experience is pure uncomfort. My new 8K TV's cable is basically wet spaghetti. I need something that won't make it look like a potato. What have you got for me? Well, I do have something thick as a spaghetti. How about the Rui Pro Ultra Thin 8K HDMI 2.1 certified cable? This thin bad boy has a 48 gigabits per second speed and supports high resolution video such as 4K at 120 hertz and 8K at 60 hertz. Is this air? Is this all you have? I don't know, man. I need more. You need more what? Here, 16K display port up to 80 gigabits per second with resolutions like 16K at 60 hertz, 8K at 120 hertz, or 4K at 240 hertz. Not what you need? Then maybe a 3 meter 8K fiber optic HDMI 2.1B cable or a 5 meter 8K fiber display port cable with 32.4 gigabits per second. Look, I said I need more. As in, I need more cable. I live in a mansion after all. I need a longer cable. Sure you do, buddy. Okay, fine. This is 50 meters of 4K fiber optic HDMI cable, long enough to cover your fancy ass and still reach from your PC to wherever your monitor is. Am I a joke to you? I said I live in a mansion, not a cottage. Longer, bigger, better, faster, stronger. Whoa, buddy. Don't pop a vein here. If 50 meters is not enough, let's double that. It. and make it better. How about an 8K pure fiber optic, thin as your personality, long as your ego, armored HDMI 2.1 cable. And best part, the heads are detachable, same way as you are detached from reality. Finally, that's what I'm talking about. But I'm not looking to buy. I'm just browsing. You mother f Okay, fun aside, that whole ridiculous scenario actually brings up a really important question. Why do these advanced cables even exist? And what makes them so special? Most of us are used to standard copper HDMI cables. For short distances, one, two, maybe three meters, they work perfectly fine. But copper has limits. Think of it like old DSL internet that runs on copper phone lines. The further you are from the exchange, the weaker and less reliable your signal gets. The same thing happens with copper HDMI cables. The longer the cable, the more the signal degrades, which can cause dropouts, flickering, and sparkles on your screen. They are also susceptible to electronic interference from other devices. This is where fiber optic cables come in. And what Repro asked me to focus on is this product line, the 8K detachable pure fiber HDMI cable. This isn't just one cable. It's a solution that comes in a huge range of sizes, from a few meters all the way up to the extreme lengths we saw in the intro. The cable itself is incredibly thin and flexible, much thinner than a normal USB cable. But its most genius feature is this. The ends are detachable. If you're running cables through a wall or a narrow pipe, pulling a bulky HDMI head through is a nightmare. With this, you just pull the super thin fiber cable through, then reconnect the head on the other side. It is a brilliant problem solving design. However, there's one crucial thing to remember with fiber optics. Because the signal travels through a thin strand of actual glass, you have to be careful not to bend the cable too sharply, otherwise the fiber can break. While the cable is thin and flexible enough to navigate tight corners, you can't just fold it back on itself like a regular copper wire. You have to respect the bend radius, or you can say goodbye to your signal. The premise here is exactly the same as with fiber optic internet, which is why it's so much faster and more reliable than the old copper lines. Instead of sending electrical signals down a copper wire, these cables transmit the data as pulses of light through a thin strand of glass fiber. This has two huge advantages. First, light doesn't degrade over distance like an electrical signal, so you can have perfect lossless quality over incredibly long runs. And second, it's completely immune to electronic interference. To prove just how robust this fiber optic technology is, I tested the second most extreme version they offer, the 100 meter cable. The most extreme version they currently have is 200 meters, but for our purpose, I think 100 meters is just fine. And if the 100 meter version works without any issues, I am confident that 200 meters will work as well. The logic is simple. If it works perfectly at this insane distance, it will work perfectly at any shorter length. I used it to connect my gaming PC to my projector. The result, a perfect picture. Absolutely zero signal loss, no lag, no flickering, no artifacts. Delivering the full uncompressed video and audio exactly as it should. So, who needs an extreme cable? Not everyone. But if you're a home theater enthusiast with a projector, a serious gamer connecting rooms, or a professional installer who needs to run a high quality signal over a long distance, a fiber optic cable like this isn't a luxury. 
it's an essential tool. And from what I've seen, RuPro specializes in solving these difficult connection problems exceptionally well. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this review helpful, a like would be appreciated, and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching.